Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com. I want to show you how to delete local Git branches permanently. I want to show you how you can delete local Git branches. And as I do this exercise, I've actually cloned a repository from GitHub. And you can see here that it's actually already got a couple of different branches on it. It's got the new branch, the old branch, and the Google Domain or Master branch. And if you looked over here, over on GitHub, you'd see there's the new branch and the old branch, which maps to this new branch and that old branch. And you may be wondering, well, I thought you were going to delete a local Git branch. Well, as soon as you do a clone, those branches become local. And the way that you would delete a local branch that was pulled from GitHub and is currently local, or whether one you created yourself, it's all the same. Now one of the first things I should mention is if you want to delete a branch the command is fairly straightforward. You just say git branch dash d for delete. You could even do double dash delete and then the name of the branch. Now I'm currently on main. One of the rules is if you're currently on the branch you can't delete the branch while you're on it. So if I try and delete the main branch while I'm on it, it's going to say, look, you crazy, you can't delete that. You're actually on the main branch because it's already checked out by someone, specifically you. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it. But I didn't really want to delete that branch anyways. What if I wanted to delete the old branch? Well, that's easy enough. I can do git branch dash dash delete. I'm not on the old branch and I say git dash dash delete old branch. Now all of a sudden that old branch is deleted. If I do a git branch dash a, you notice that there is no reference to the old branch, only the new branch and the main branch. Now, of course, I did that with a branch that I pulled from GitHub. Notice over on GitHub, that branch still exists, right? I didn't delete it remotely. That's a whole other step that you got to take if you want to delete the remote branch from GitHub or GitLab. But locally, that branch is indeed deleted. Now, what if you just had your own feature branch that you created locally? I mean, to create a branch, all you have to do is say git git switch dash c and then my branch and uh, the switch command kind of replaces the git checkout command uh, that not only creates a new branch but switches you onto it so you can actually see I'm on my branch even a little status there will say hey you're on the branch my branch and a git branch dash a tells me well there's a new branch called my branch which I'm currently on it now this branch doesn't map over to anything from the GitHub repository that I pulled from. So, you know, for a lot of people, this is the type of branch that they want, one that's purely local and isolated from anyone else when they just want to clean their own environment. Now, again, the command to delete that branch, it's just git branch. I used dash dash delete before. I can do a single dash D and then the name of the branch, my branch. But of course, you probably know what's going to happen right now. I'm going to try and delete a branch while I'm on it. <laughs> That ain't gonna work. Cannot delete the branch, my branch, because you're on it, dummy. Yeah, well, I know that. I could just do a git switch. And again, do the git switch. Don't do the git checkout. Switch back to main. Now, if I wanted to click the up button twice, go back to git branch dash D, my branch, I can do a carriage return on that and boom, the branch named my branch is deleted. And a git branch dash A will confirm that, in fact, that branch is gone, my branch is gone, the old branch is gone, all that's left here locally is the new branch and main. Now again, I want to point out that it does not delete the branch in the remote repository. That's another step, but that discussion is for another day. And that's how easy it is to delete a local Git branch permanently. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, I want you to head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, GitLab, DevOps tools, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at Potemkin. And uh, you can also subscribe on the YouTube.